on Saturday morning, October 7th, at 6.30 in the morning, the red alert went off and a barrage of missiles fell on our house in Kibbutz Niroz. My sons, 12 and 16, were alone in my house sleeping. They got into the safe room. Anyone who sees this can imagine his own children in his house or her house um, alone in this nightmare. Even though my son was trying hard to hold it closed, the door to the safe room was pushed open. Last I heard was my youngest saying, don't take me, I'm too young. It started with a nightmare that I had uh, that was visualized in animation, so to speak. And I woke up in the morning and I said, I have to get this um, bad dream out of my head. Well, I can't really get it out of my head because I live it, but at least to get it out to the world. I think of them alone in a pit or a dark tunnel with no sense of time. It was like it was, you know, they went through into my head. Um, seriously, it's like they're living in my head, uh, in my heart. I hope that they are together, keeping each other strong, and that they are with other children who were also kidnapped. Until I see them again, waiting to hug them again. And they gave it a good ending, um, which is, they gave me a good ending. To, um, to hope for. So um, I'm very grateful for this work. 